Welcome to another Secret Influence TV interview. Today, I'm interviewing Basima Fatima, and she's a copywriter who helps business to business clients improve their personal branding. So welcome to Secret Influence TV, Basima. Thank you so much. Thank you for introducing me. It was so a nice just, pleasure. Yeah, it's great to have you on. So just to start, you know, how did you perhaps tell you about your journey? How did you um, become interested or how did you start um, in, in in your business of, of, of copywriting and personal branding? Okay, so first I started my career as a writer and yeah. I was happy getting published in art, uh, in magazines as um, my articles, my blogs and my stories were getting published and I was uh, happy enough to get paid uh, but it wasn't that much amount but I was happy because I didn't know about anything at all. So uh, for once I uh, was scrolling on, his, uh, on Facebook so I got to a post in which she, uh, she was a copywriter and she mentioned how she raised her prices uh, for, um, being a writer to a copywriter so it uh, clicked into my mind that I should learn it too but uh, I don't know what was pushing me for uh, not to learn but uh, one day my friend asked me that you should learn copywriting and then uh, he uh, sh my friend uh, called me and uh, taught me the basics in two hours and I just loved that those uh, classes and I uh, started learning on my own I took courses I took blogs uh, I read blogs and I took um, like I practiced every day to learn everything related to copywriting and then uh, I started giving uh, my copywriting services to uh, digital marketing companies uh, and I helping them in their projects in their copywriting projects uh, and then I uh, learned a personal branding on LinkedIn and I started writing about my journey, my success, my failures, and how I went through. So yeah, it was a great change that it helped me uh, uh, relate uh, to my audience and it helped me connect with my uh, like-minded people and I grew uh, much better than that. So um, I started giving those services uh, because it helped me, uh, me and I uh, know that it will help others. I know that it will help personal brands. I will know, I know that it will help entrepreneurs build their personal brand online. So B2B marketer uh, agency owners are so busy that they cannot uh, spend their time uh, building their audience, but they want to. So yeah, that was, that's the main point that they are busy, but they want to build their uh, personal brand. So yeah, I started providing the services. Fantastic. Um, and you know how how important do you think it is um, for to have you know how important is personal branding for so you know um, your clients in today's digital age? I think I think you know branding is 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 you know represents everything there is about a, a business of any size. Um, and and yeah, what, what, how important do you think it is? Personal branding yeah. entrepreneurs. Personal branding helps uh, connect with uh, like-minded people. It opens too many opportunities uh, for the entrepreneurs and they can uh, attract new and potential clients through that, through their personal brand, through uh, showing their personal side and show, uh, through connecting with the others, through connecting with their audience. So, yeah. And what, what um, perhaps you could share, you know, some key elements that, that, that would of what you know how someone would make their personal brand stand out because i guess the important thing nowadays is you've got to stand out from uh you know other people who are doing a similar business you know it, we're, we live in a very crowded market we all have competitors um yeah. you know i'm a copywriter like yourself and there's lots of other copywriters so standing out and being seen as the expert is is, is the challenge what you know what um what are what are some of the key elements that make a personal brand stand out uh, the uh, number one thing is to be real, be authentic, because we all are different. We all are different human beings and we all go through different journey. We go through different problems. We go through different solutions. So it's better to be real and share your personal side, share your journey and share what you've experienced. Number one is being real. And number two is being transparent. Whatever you are learning, uh, go there and share with their audience. Yeah, it's uh, important to 
uh, if you want don't want to share everything you can keep something private but if you think that it will help others it has helped me or i ha have gone through a long way to find the solution then you should share you should go out you should stand out or out and share with the audience and number 3 is being consistent being consistent with the postings being consistent with the brand colors because when you choose some colors uh, it will differentiate you, you from the others from your competitors and it will help you stand out from the crowd it will help you it will help people to recognize you because we remember colors more faster so they will remember you and you will build your personal brand on your own i think yeah that's great points there i think that authenticity and, and consistency and that certainly is something that i i hear a lot about you know being consistent in whatever you do um, yeah. If we if we turn now so on 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 the other way around, what do you think are some of the common mistakes that entrepreneurs make when they're when they're developing their personal brand? Are there some common mistakes that people you know? Yeah, people uh, uh, once uh, they start their personal brand, they are not clear with what they have to deliver, uh, what problems they have to share, and uh, how will they solve other problems. So you have to be clear uh, with uh, what uh, will you cover, what will your topics be. And once you identify in which uh, thing or in which skill you are expert in, you will find your way. Uh, and uh, number two is uh, neglecting your audience because uh, people want to engage with the humans. They don't want anybody to come here and put the uh, things out there and others will engage. No, they won't. People will engage when you will engage with others. So when you neglect your audience, uh, your personal branding uh, doesn't go uh, as good. And being inconsistent, um, not con posting consistently, not uh, uh, continuing with your brand colors, so it will destroy your personal brand. And lack of authenticity, B because when you uh, some people try to uh, copy some uh, others and they don't be real, they try to come so copy someone else stories. So people will remember you. People will recognize uh, who you are copying and whose style you are copying. So uh, it will destroy your personal brand. And uh, other those thing is uh, uh, focusing on your self promotion. So, uh, personal branding is all about uh, yourself. It should be. Uh, it should include self promotion. But always talking about self promotion, always bragging about you destroys your personal brand. Because we are all selfish. We want us to see in the picture. If uh, your audience won't see themselves in the problems you are solving, if they won't see them, uh, if they won't see you caring for them they will uh, leave you you will cannot grow your personal brand being selfish so uh, focusing solely on your self promotion will destroy your personal brand um yeah, fantastic uh, points there and i 100% agree with you from i think it's so everything we do um will affect our our brand and and either positively or negatively so we need to be constantly aware of you know what we say and do is consistent with with our brand um just touching on, you know, uh, what what makes us unique about our, our personal brand and business, you know, that's, you know, the important thing is to, is to get that across. And the unique, you know, that unique value proposition, you know, that USP, um, that, you know, unique selling point that we have about our, our business and our brand. How can entrepreneurs effectively communicate their unique value proposition? Uh, okay so then they uh, you when you focus on solving others problem people will love you they will think they will recognize that you are there to help them so it will differentiate yourself uh, to be unique and, and it will help you grow your personal brand faster and uh, when you identify that uh, in which skill you are expert in it will help you uh, solve any problem you will face if you um, know something about copywriting, if you know something about uh, digital marketing or you know something about uh, Facebook ads and you try to be an expert or you show yourself an expert, you cannot grow. You have to choose one uh, one arm. For example, if, uh, if I am doing, I am uh, focusing on copywriting, personal branding, and uh, these are my content pillars. When you uh, make your content pillars, uh, for example, if I make my content pillar as a copywriting and personal branding, so I will move with the subtopics. I will uh, um, show myself as an expert in copywriting and personal branding, and then I will discuss uh, the subtopics, including copywriting, how to write headlines, how to write compelling hooks, how to write this, or how to write subject lines that uh, make people read to the end. So when you focus on something, 
so you should focus on only one thing when you uh, try to uh, relate uh, when you try to talk with everyone you cannot talk with anyone so be one be expert in your field and differentiate yourself and um, other than that it is uh, consistently uh, when you are consistent with messaging that if you are uh, focusing on being consistent with providing value then you can grow your personal brand more smoothly and more strongly uh, it, uh, uh, growing on linkedin linkedin is far way more easy than growing with other uh, on other uh, platforms so you should focus on uh, linkedin or engaging with others so it will um, create your uh, personal brand and um, de- uh, number 3 is developing a story brand uh, highlight your stories highlight your personal journey highlight uh, your struggles failures success road maps case studies it will help other people and recognize you as an expert you will stand out as an expert in your field so yeah it's really important because um, these are the unique factors that will help you uh, recognize yourself in the industry and people will appreciate you more just uh, yeah so you back you also let and uh, uh, leveraging social proof when you share social proof with others when you leverage, so, yeah when you share social proof the people will know that you know how to work you know your work so yeah it is really important and engaging with others uh, engage in the dms in the live section live sessions in the webinars and in uh, anywhere they are uh, they are try to connect with you you should appreciate them and you should engage with them and yeah the, um just to follow on from one of your points there about this sort of storytelling um you know what role, role does storytelling play um in in personal branding you know because i think uh, what i found is copyrighted people don't use storytelling enough and um, that's yeah storytelling is a great way of connecting with your audience and getting you know, engaging with them and that's what people often relate to so um yeah what what role do you think it plays is it something that people can okay storytelling uh, storytelling plays an important role because we are humans and we don't uh, remember facts and data uh, long form data and anything we don't re- remember we remember stories we remember people with the stories we remember characters we um, so if we all go through different problems as i mentioned uh, before that we all have different stories we are unique and we do have unique stories so when we uh, represent ourselves as a different person we have to uh, tell our uh, stories we have to tell how this happened and how that happened for example if uh, Uh, i am sharing uh, how to write headlines if i share how i write headline that gave me these results so it will work even better because people want the real experiences they want real stories to be shared we and we all love stories so yeah uh, it it connects on a deeper level deeper emotional level so stories works the best storytelling works the best it's a, uh, another skill you should learn and everybody should learn fantastic um so a bit of a a bit of call to arms a bit of call to action i mean for for people to use yeah. more storytelling um for do you i mean do you have any um advice for like new entrepreneurs perhaps startups who who are <laughs> um looking to obviously grow their business and grow and grow their um build their personal brand you know what any sort of how do they get started so they cover a lot of things but what what do you think is the best way for them okay uh, number one they should understand their audience they should understand whom they are talking to if they if they are talking to beginners they should uh, uh, start with the uh, basic level and then move out with the advanced one and uh, if they are entrepreneurs if they are professional ones if they are talking to professional one then your tone should be uh, for the professional ones who knows everything you are just there to guide them so when you understand your audience uh, you can uh, build your audience more better or you can uh, build your uh, uh, personal brand more strongly and uh, develop a unique voice we are we all are unique so we all have unique voice and we should have unique voice don't copy anybody um, be yourself and try uh, once you start uh, creating content you will you won't be confident on your uh, brand voice but as you practice things you know how your audience is and how you like to write so you will uh, be different from others and uh, uh, start with a strong headline start with something being curious or start with a pain points um, when you uh, when you target the pain points they uh, it will uh, attract more audience and it will uh, it will 
like boom your profile and focus on benefit uh, people will see what's in for them they want to see that what's working for you or what's work for them they will see what's in for them i where am i how can you help me and use storytelling use uh, uh connect on the deeper level deeper emotional level so storytelling works best and uh, be clear be clear what you what you say i read somewhere that uh, you will uh, when you are writing a content when you are writing a post think that it will uh, you will get 100 dollars for cutting a cutting a single word so make it clear make it short make it crisp and use social proofs uh use testimonials use video testimonials to showcase your work that you know you are the best you know your work and uh, strong add strong cts at the end if you want them to follow you mention there if you want them to uh buy your ebook mention there if you want them to follow your website they mention there because they are not the they, they, because they don't know anything you ha- are there to ask them to do it okay and te- num- last is test and refine I- and you have to analyze what's working for you carousels work for somebody and short uh, format posts for, uh, works for somebody and long uh, long form fo- uh, format post works for somebody not everybody so you should analyze what's working for you should experiment um, with carousels with a uh, short form post long form post and you see what's working for you how your audience relate with you and then stick to it and um, uh, yeah i i'm fantastic you know summary there of how to um do great copywriting so just to i think you know reiterate some of those points yeah it all starts with the headline if people don't read the headline they're not going to read your content you know we skim read and yeah. you know with so much content nowadays you've got to have a headline that hooks people's attention straight away and it makes them want to read the rest of your content and um yes make it clear make it concise make it about your audience what do they want to you know what do they want to hear how are you how are you solving their problem how are you helping them get across the benefits and um yes have a you have a call to action at the end you know what do you want them to do yeah. make it clear make it direct so um yes i think you know that, that all these things are so important for any entrepreneur any, anyone in business you know whenever they do writing this is all the points you you have to remember um my My next question is a bit about you know social media. You know, there's a um, obviously we connected through LinkedIn, and there's a lot of, a lot of social media channels out are, out there. Um, just to perhaps you could briefly say how how entrepreneurs um, can use social media platforms to enhance their personal brand and connect their audience. Is there is there, is there a sort of a any suggestions you have for people way people should you know approach it um i think it can be quite overwhelming where sometimes entrepreneurs or startups think oh mm-hmm. you've got to be on every channel and do, you know and um and not know which ones to be on do do you have any tips on that okay so uh, when you start your personal brand always choose a right uh, right platform if you want to work with e-commerce brand e-com brands so you have to upload them on facebook e-com brand owners are on facebook and instagram and if you want to connect with entrepreneurs or b2b marketers b uh, or saas business owners then you have to approach them on linkedin so uh, you have to understand where your client is and where you will get clients where you will get more opportunities so build your uh, social presence there build your so, uh, personal brand there if you think they are on instagram or you think if you are they are on linkedin so go there uh, mostly writers get their um, work from work opportunities from twitter and linkedin so yeah it works uh, best uh, great there so yeah, i will uh, suggest to write, uh, choose the right platform and uh, be real be authentic and uh, uh, okay so one more thing when you are creating a personal brand you have to choose right right hashtags and on linkedin you cannot uh, add more than four hashtags because it uh, doesn't work there and, and and when you are working on instagram you can add uh, up to 30 hashtags so yeah there are some things um, the, uh, so there are some similarities with every platform but the, some things are different and always share valuable content always share what's uh, always read your content like is it worth sharing is it, will i read read it will it, it is sharing value so if you think that if you uh, feel your audience if you think that they if you be re- uh, real and loyal with your audience people will love you people will appreciate your content so always be real and always add value to others 
and uh, engage with others engage uh, when you want engage when you are starting your uh, personal brand uh, the number one important thing is to engage uh, rather than uh, creating content you have to engage because you are there to tell people that you exist and when you want engage with others they want to uh, know that yeah, there is something there is someone uh, who knows something so when you engage when you uh, interact with others when you either in dms or comments so people you will attract more eyeballs to your profile so yes fantastic um whatever your business whoever your audience uh, you know research um where they where they hang out when research you know where your audience are and what channels they use because wherever your ch um, audience are that's where you want to be so some, for some businesses instagram can work really well for others it can be facebook um for some perhaps yeah. professional services it could be linkedin so you want to be on the platforms the channels where you're your target market are and um yeah yes definitely you know do your research and i think it goes back to again you know being being clear of your message being consistent um and yeah, yeah. it's about relationship building um so do you just uh, perhaps my last question is um can you so sort of, is there any um any sort of uh so how do you stay updated you know how do you personally stay updated with with um you know changes and trends and practicing copywriting okay. or just the branding you know do you okay so i uh, read blogs on uh, blogs on websites or uh, that is copyblogger.com or nate patel's blog and the uh, and the uh post from jasmine ale justin welsh gary v shares a great content and yeah I and uh, there is a magazine that is called Entrepreneur. So yeah, I read it. So, so th this keeps me up to the with the latest trends that are roaming uh, in the society or the, the social media. Excellent, excellent. And um, my last question is, uh, you know, can you is there any uh, any research the tools that perhaps you use that you know um, mm -hmm. you can recommend to entrepreneurs to either improve the okay. branding or branding? Anything you can just. Uh, okay, there are three tools that I sh uh, think that everybody should use. Number one is Hemingway, Hemingway app that, uh, and it will help you uh, write with the on the uh, like least level. Uh, I would recommend that writing on a level five. It will help you connect with the audience. It will help you write on the in the simple language. So use Hemingway app to write in a simple language because it uh, assists you that uh, on this level you are writing. And Canva to uh, uh, stick with your brand colors and to create content. Uh, if, no matter if you are sharing a selfies, you have to share something related to your brand. You have to share something related to your personal brand colors. So yeah, Canva. And uh, number three is um, uh, for learnings, you can use LinkedIn Learning. Uh, it it also has a free version. It also has a free courses, so you can learn and implement all those things because the uh, knowledge uh, there is really authentic. So yeah, it these uh, three tools are the best. Fantastic. So uh, Hemingway, I think, is the first one. Canva and LinkedIn Learning. Yeah. Uh, so that, yes, I mean, just to say, you know, there are lots of fantastic free resources and tools out there um, available. So. Um, and most most um, most platforms and software have a free version. Um, yeah. So you know, you know, check out the ones that uh, Basima shared. Um, you know, you can Google it. There's lots of great free tools out there. Basima, that's um, that's the end of our interview. I tell you what, I really enjoyed chatting to you as a copywriter. Hearing you know your you share your expertise as another copywriter um, and. You know, getting your thoughts on things has been has been a really uh, great experience. So thank you for um, thank you for your time today. Thank you for showing your expertise and tips. Please do subscribe to the channel if you're watching this and get notifications of more upcoming interviews 